be good. For today's adventure, I've got a Professor Juniper Premium Tournament Collection milk carton. But before we get to that, I wanted to introduce our first giveaway. I recently got two of these Lanches Charizard Celebrations boxes, and once we hit 100 subscribers, I'll be opening one as well as giving one away completely free to celebrate. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out, and trust me, there will be even better giveaways in the future. Getting back, this little guy actually packs a big punch with what it's filled with. Inside, we'll find our deck box that's filled to the brim with booster packs. Then we've got some nice promo cards that we'll get back to in a second. Some great Juniper and Minchino card sleeves. As well as some condition markers that are nice, solid plastic condition markers. A really nice Juniper coin that really glistens. And finally, we've got some more Click Clacks to add to our growing collection of Click Clacks. Getting back to the promo cards, we can take a look at them and see what they look like here. And we've got our code card, of course. And then we've got these three holographic professor's research cards, as well as one nice full art card. Do you guys think that a full art card like this, that's a guaranteed card in these packages, should go up on the wall of fame? Let me know in the comments what you think. Personally, I don't think so, but I'd like to hear your thoughts on it too. Setting everything aside now, we can get to these booster packs in here. Now, I did some digging and saw that there were Brilliant Stars, as well as Fusion Strike, one Evolving Skies pack, and a Chilling Rain pack. We're going to put the Evolving Skies aside because we want to save the best for last. So we'll give that to our little Pipple up here for good luck. We'll start in the order that they're presented to us with Brilliant Stars. Now, there's a lot that you can get in these packs. And honestly, I'd really like just a Hollow Piplup, Printplup, or Empoleon. After the Morpeko tragedy of 2023, I can't ask for too much, so anything would be great. Getting started, we have our energy card. Weavile, Starmie, Fresh Water Set, Clefairy, Bidoof, Electabuzz, Howlucha, Weasel, Starmie, and Lipard. Not bad, but we can definitely do better. I really hope there's some better cards in the next one. And hopefully we can add to our Wall of Fame today. We'll put our code card aside. And get right in. We've got Energy, Torkoal, Cynthia's Ambition, Clang, Clefairy, Bidoof, Electabuzz, Howlucha, Weasel, a nice Reverse Hollow Magmar, and finally a Whimsicott V! What an awesome looking card, and this easily makes it onto the Wall of Fame. That's a great little hit in our second pack. We still have so many to go, and we can get some really nice cards still. We'll get right on to our third pack of Brilliant Stars. We've got our Energy, Gabite, Morgrim, Dusclops, Cubchu, Shinx, Farfetched, Execute, Grimer, Impidimp, and Mewtwo. That's a nice basic card. Nothing too great, but not bad for only our third pack. We can set these guys aside and keep chugging along. Do you guys really like Mewtwo? Because 
He's got a soft spot in my heart. <laughs> There's always space for Mewtwo in there. We've got Energy, Sydney, a Battle VIP Pass, Graveler, Voltorb, Pansage, Qfint, Gligar, Slugma, Quick Ball, and a Hollow Steelix. That's a pretty nice card. I know a lot of people really like Steelix, and a nice Hollow is a pretty good get for a Fusion Strike. Not good enough to make it onto the wall, of course, but still good nonetheless. Moving on to our next booster. Let's hide that Tynamo. We've got Energy, Lopunny, Hariyama, Breloom, Tynamo, Galarian Meowth, Gossifleur, Panpour, Eevee, Krogunk, a nice reverse hollow, and Vikavolt. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I read that the code cards actually correspond to what you get in the packs. And on our black code cards, we've gotten the Whimsicott V as well as the Hollow. And on the white code cards, we didn't really get anything of note. So maybe there's something to that after all. Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll get on to our one Chilling Rain booster, and then after that, we'll get to Evolving Skies. Now, our code card is black, so maybe that's really good news for us here. We'll take our four from the back to the front and get going. Got Energy, Crabominable, Single Strike Scroll of Piercing, what a mouthful. Melanie, Blitzel, Aaron, Deerling, Delibird, Larvesta, a Reverse Hollow Galarian Mask, and finally, Slurpuff. Nothing of note, so maybe there isn't anything to that code card, or it could just be that Chilling Rain works a little bit different than the rest. I know not every pack follows the same logic, but let's hope that our Evolving Skies card pack defies all logic and we get something brilliant out of it. After all, Piplup so nicely held on to that for us this entire time. Let's get this guy open. We've got our code card facing the wrong way this time, but it is a black code card, so maybe that's really good news. We'll take our four from the back to the front and look what we get. Ice Q, Shellgon, Stormy Mountains, Bagon, Scraggy, Drowsy, Bergmite. Oh man, this one always trips me up. I want to say Pet Lily. I know it's not Pet Lily, it's Petalil, but it just always trips me up nonetheless. How do you guys say it? Some rubber gloves, a hollow, that's not bad, and Tropius. Not really the best Evolving Skies pack we could have ever gotten, but it could have been a lot worse. We did get a nice Whimsicott V today. I'm so glad you guys joined me on this adventure. If you liked it, please leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned for our giveaway of the nice Celebrations box in the future. Thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you on the next adventure.